here. Today we're gonna be looking at four different types of transformations. Got my old skateboard, dusted it off. It's been a little while. Got my red bearings, venture trucks. Let's go. A translation occurs when an object keeps its original shape, size, and orientation, but moves to a different location or position. As you can see here, the skateboard has not changed at all, it has simply moved to a different spot. On a coordinate plane, a translation looks like this. An object can shift to the right, to the left, down, up, or any combination of the two. A reflection is when an object mirrors itself in any direction. The object is exactly the same, except that it is flipped in the opposite direction. On our plane, an object can be reflected across a vertical line, across a horizontal line, or even across a diagonal line. In rotations, an object keeps the same size and shape, but it spins around a specific point. Here we can see the skateboard rotating around its back wheels. A rotation spins an object around a coordinate plane in a given direction. To help visualize this, you can picture the whole coordinate plane spinning around, either clockwise or counterclockwise. This can help you see how the object moves around. A dilation takes an object and stretches or shrinks it, which usually changes its size. We can see that the shapes of the skateboards are still very similar, but they are by no means identical or the same size. On the coordinate plane, we can see the scale of a dilation by using the grid lines to see how much an object grows or shrinks. Notice that no matter how much an object dilates, it always keeps its same basic shape. Okay, well, you know, I'm a little rusty. Um, Really, I wasn't trying that hard. I didn't want anyone to feel bad that their teacher was better than them, but you know, I had a fun day and learning, so it's all good. Really, I wasn't trying that hard. I wasn't trying that hard. 